My name is Almira. Welcome to my channel. have many sizes of squid this is medium this is kind of like small this one is even smaller look at that but this one is a little bigger this one is huge so if you could see that this one is for grilling I'm gonna grill this one too this one is also for grilling but the small ones, this really tiny small ones, I'm going to make a Filipino style adobong pusit. It's called squid adobo. So let's start. So while I'm heating the pan, I'm going to slice what's needed there. I'm going to put a little bit of oil. While I'm heating the oil, I'm going to put there garlic I think I will need probably a couple it's very easy you don't really have to peel it right away you just smack it like this and then you can easily remove and I think I will need one more and then let's put that there This is our native uh, onion. It's red. What I do, I slice it in half. And then I slice it here, and there, and then I peel it. That's my technique. In that way, it's a lot faster. I can smell the garlic. That was close. I'll just wait till it's caramelized. I've burned some garlic. No worries. Let's remove the one that's burned. And once the temperature has dropped, I'll go ahead and turn it back on. Not bad, it's actually a, just a couple. One. Take it out. Turn on the fire again. So the extras, I'm going to use it later. And I have this lemongrass. Extract the flavor. When I live in Korea, we didn't have this. So it's always the dried ones from Thailand. I think we don't really appreciate it because we don't have some. Vegas, the malungai is frozen. That's funny. And I can go ahead and put this one. And normally we don't really use tomatoes for adobo. But I don't have a lot of spice. Lots of flavor. And it's good to extract the flavors. Very important in an Asian uh, cooking. The most important ingredient is ginger. 
Ginger is actually very good for throat, for your voice, uh, for stomach, for digestion. Very easy. You don't have to really like peel. What I do is like I just clean it, I slice it, and then you just hit like hammer. You son of a gun. You're always late at work. You always call. No call, no show. Here you go. We don't do that. <laughs> but put your anger and frustrations here. I'm in a normal adobo. We normally put a vinegar. I'm not really a fan of using vinegar for a normal adobo because vinegar is so acidic. So I'm gonna go ahead and use lemon. I think we call this like, I don't know, mini lemons, teeny tiny calamansi, right here. And don't put the seeds, otherwise it becomes bitter. Uh, one should be enough. Uh, let's put more. Maybe one more. Sure, why not? So a little bit of acid is fine. Because in time, the acid is gonna eat all your seeds. And again, we love this type of peppers. They're long. We call them espada because it looks like a sword. But though in a language is very close to what Spanish is because we were colonized for 500 years by the Spaniards. I'm gonna go ahead and use and put this one out. The these are the baby ones. Two, three, four, five. very good source of potassium so you don't feel dizzy good let's look at the progress as you can see it released its own water I didn't put any water there I also don't stir the food a lot, just a little bit. I'm very gentle with it. It's almost cooked, maybe a few more minutes. Should not overcook this, otherwise it becomes rubbery. It also shrunk like, what, 50%? And this brown, delicious sauce is from the flavor of the squid. You can use that for a spaghetti negra or carbonara negra. I'm going to turn off the fire because this is already cooked. I'm gonna let it sit here. It's going to continue to cook some more. You see, you see, you.
this is an outdoor barbecue. This is now the yellowfin tuna. Where do you want me to put them? Well, you can eat them once, whatever you feel comfortable with. I think it's great over here. Yeah. Okay, so let's we, put this. This is not on yet. Oh, okay. We turned it on. I have to stay away from the fire. I did a seaweed peel, so I have. I'm peeling. So while waiting for this barbecue to um, heat, right now it's uh, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. We want this around 350 to 400. That's the perfect temperature for a grill. Again, what you doing, Pe? You gonna go and swim? Where's your toy? You gonna go ahead and jump? I can throw your toy for you. And we have. Got there, lounging and just relaxing. Hello, honey. He likes to bake himself in the sun. They like to be tan, and I want to be white. And look, the temperature is perfect today with all the breeze, and it's perfect, perfect temperature. It's kind of like it's spring. We have all the palm trees. They have nice breeze. Do you know that fan is not actually on? That's just the wind. Give me your toy. You wanna give me your toy, Pe? Come here, Pe. Hey, you think we need to, uh, what's the temperature? It's at 300. Okay. Is this good? No, yeah. After a while, I'm waiting for my barbecue. Scott here is also looking for his barbecue. We need a barbecue in uh, our house in Vegas. Tropical weather is always the best. Yeah. I like the snow, I like to play in the snow, but I don't like the temperature. I don't want either when it's too hot. In the summertime, you have to go somewhere. But it's nice and beautiful. We stay in Vegas house and Philippine house. Look at my daisy in there. Can I show my face there? This is my macaroni. She likes spaghetti. Ready? Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. One, two, three, go, baby. How about this? ready. I'm excited to eat. <laughs> this is the 
biggest one. Everything is on the table and it's for us now to enjoy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Bless us, O Lord, and this thy gifts we're about to receive from the bounty through Christ our Lord, Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let's eat. Uh, we have uh, mangoes. Go ahead and help yourself. We got around 10 kilos of mangoes for this week. I think the deal here is that, woo! Dee, we have a lot of mangoes, Dee. Okay, we have these mangoes. And we're gonna have this here. Um, I can also help you with that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, that's good. Start another one? Yeah. I see. I can I can make it even smaller. Mm, that is Caesar's better. We have a uh, plantain, the steamed banana. In Philippines, we call it saba. This is very good to pair with the uh, seafood. We also have like a uh, cucumber. That one here. This is the adobo I cooked earlier, and we have some cucumbers. Um, we have this uh, seaweed, the collagen. That one. It needs a uh, lemon. You can cut a little bit. Like it. Water. Yeah. Now oh, we have buku juice. We normally use uh, vinegar, but I'm very particular of vinegar. It's too harsh for your teeth. We don't think about those when you're young, but because I'm almost middle aged. That's a new 20. for them it's good for their cold no spice for them just the inside the, the lean meat inside this is for like pepper and I end up with the head would you like some here
the moment on your lips, wherever on your hips. Better stop now. I really have to stop. They said don't play with your food. Okay guys, till next week. See you!